All right, so we're going to show you in this video how to get started with the tricky questions assignment. Uh, one thing you want to do is make sure you go through and read the description that's posted above the video link that you clicked on. Um, then go ahead and read through the other directions listed right under the forum link. Uh, by now you've probably already done some of the notes and homework. So you should have gone through that because this is sort of to finish off the unit. All right, so next we're going to click on Forum for Tricky Questions. And uh, you may see other posts, but you'll definitely see this one in green. Uh, for me, it says click here for group assignments. Right. And uh, what you want to do is go ahead and click on the Tricky Questions document. That should open up. And you can save or print that, depending on what browser you have. You might have buttons there. You might be able to just right-click and save and print. Uh, but these are the problems that, you, that every group is going to do. So all groups have the same 18 problems. And the group assignments are, of course, right below that. So figure out which group you're in and go ahead and write down those names. You can see that there's six people in each group. So that's about three questions per person. Uh, so a common plan of action is to split it up. Everybody does three questions initially, and then you rotate having people check those answers to make sure that they're right and discuss them. Once you have some possible answers for your problems, you want to go ahead and go back to the forum. Now, when you're looking at the forum, you're only going to see my post and then post from people in your group. So if you only see my post, that means nobody in your group has posted yet. Uh, when they do post, you'll be able to click on their post and make replies. And that's a good way to get discussion going and to um, sort of check their work. Um, when you want to post your initial responses, just go ahead and hit Add New Thread. Right? Put in the subject, uh, you know, I'm doing questions uh, 5, uh, 12, and uh, and 16, whichever questions you're doing. You can go ahead and type in there. You can also add pictures. You can add attached documents. You can put in tables. And of course, you can use the math formulas and add graphs. So put in your work here. Uh, if you want to just do attachments, that's fine. Um, and, uh, and then you hit go ahead and post thread. And you'll see that. Uh, that that shows up. And so when somebody else already has a thread there, you can click on it and then you can go ahead and reply to it. And then you can post replies and you can sort of get a discussion going on those questions. So once you have those questions initially answered and then people go ahead and make corrections and, and sort of check over everything, um, then you want to do one last post at the very end, a new thread uh, that has the complete final answers from everybody. Now it's not as important about getting the right answer at the end you can see from the grading rubric that it's more important that you are doing some collaboration and explaining. So, uh, you know, explaining a wrong answer is going to be better than not explaining a correct answer. Um, but you do want to do that final answer post. All right. And, uh, oh, so I remember you had written down the team members in your group, their names. So if you need to contact them and they're not posting, you can, of course, go to the messaging system. And you can send a new message, and you can pick their name out of the list, and then go ahead and send them a message, and then I'll just go right to them. Um, if you need email addresses, then uh, that can be found through Blackboard. You can go to our Blackboard site, and you can send emails to people through the course tools. Or, or ask me. I can send you email addresses of people in your group. And uh, if somebody in your group's not participating, then you just have to pick up the slack. Um, of course, if people, certain people in the group don't participate, I'll take that into consideration when I do the grading. So um, make sure you just do your fair share. All right. If you have any other questions, just let me know.